Welcome to the Golden State Warriors News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. Hey, Warriors fans. Let's talk about what could change the direction of our team in the NBA and, of course, highlight some names that are in the spotlight. Who doesn't remember the trade that brought Clay Thompson to us? Since then, he has become a living legend of basketball, but now the spotlight is also on Gary Payton too. Known for his bold defense, he has been mentioned as a possible acquisition by the Mavericks. So, fans, imagine how it would be to see Peyton alongside stars like Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. This combination could elevate Dallas's chances in the title race. However, the Mavericks' situation is not straightforward. With the departure of Drick Jones Jr., they are trying to fill that gap and are eyeing Najee Marshall and Quentin Grimes. But is adding a heavy defender like Gary Payton too what they need to balance the team? It's a crucial question, especially in a league that values both defense and offense. And let's talk numbers. Peyton has a contract of about $9.1 million, which makes this opportunity attractive for Dallas. But what do the Warriors think? Players like Maxi Kleber or even Marshall could interest them in a trade. The NBA trade market is always full of excitement and uncertainties. And, of course, we can't forget Peyton's injury history. He played only 66 of the 164 games in the last two seasons. This raises a red flag. Are the Warriors willing to take the risk of losing a player with so much potential? Now, shifting focus, what about Jonathan Kaminga? The young talent from the Warriors is catching the attention of the Clippers as a new season approaches. Kaminga, selected as the seventh overall pick in the 2021 draft, had an impressive season, averaging 16.1 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 2.2 assists. With the Clippers facing uncertainties, could they be eyeing Kaminga as part of a rebuild? The Clippers' situation is complex, and if they decide to trade Kawhi Leonard, acquiring a promising talent like Kaminga could be a big move. Now think about it, fans. Will Kaminga shine more with the Clippers, or does he still have a bright future with the Warriors? The situation is a double-edged sword, as sacrificing a promising player could ensure security for the roster, but could also mean losing a great star in the making. With so many variables at play, the question remains, what is more important for the Warriors? Seeking immediate results or investing in the future of a talent like Kaminga? We know that, as fans, we often want quick victories, but building a solid future is essential for long-term success. We've reached the end of this analysis on the possible trades and expectations surrounding Clay Thompson, Gary Payton II, and Jonathan Kaminga. What do you think? How do you envision the futures of these players? The NBA always surprises us, and every move can tell a new story. We want to hear your thoughts. Leave your comments, and let's discuss. And when we talk about the history of the NBA, we can't forget the impact that each player has on the team and the league as a whole. Clay Thompson, with his incredible shooting ability and work ethic, is not just a key piece for the Warriors, but a global basketball icon. Over the years, he has become synonymous with grit and resilience, especially after his injuries and triumphant return. But the question persists, what will his future be with the team? His staying could bring stability and experience to a roster looking to adapt to a new landscape, while young talents like Kaminga seek their space to shine. On the other hand, what would Peyton's departure mean? He is more than a defender. His contagious energy and ability to change the game's pace are vital to the team's dynamic. With his possible move to the Mavericks, this could create a hole in the Warriors' defense, which has not been the same since losing some defensive pillars. Defensive efficiency is crucial in a league where offense is celebrated, and victories are often decided by details. The question we should ask ourselves is, are we ready to risk losing an elite defender for a return that might not be worth it? Meanwhile, the Clippers' situation brings forth another intriguing narrative. They are at a turning point and may need a strategic rebuild. Acquiring a player like Kaminga, who has the potential to become a star, could be key to a more promising future. But this raises a new question. Should the Warriors allow a rising talent like Kaminga to join a rival? Would this be a risky move that could backfire on them in the near future? And of course, there's the dilemma of Kaminga's contract extension. If the Warriors don't secure his future, they could be losing a rare gem that could be crucial for their championship aspirations in the coming years. The talent is at hand, but uncertainty about the future could lead to hasty decisions. The coming weeks promise a whirlwind of speculation and emotions. Will the Warriors keep Clay and Peyton, or will the Mavericks land a defender who could solidify their defense? And what about Kaminga? 
Will his future be decided within the walls of the Oracle Arena, or will he shine under the Staples Center spotlight? Fans, what do you envision for this team that we love so much? We are about to witness another chapter in the Warriors' history. The history of the NBA is made of bold decisions and strategic bets, and each choice shapes the future of the franchises. Let's keep the conversation alive. Share your opinions and predictions about Clay, Peyton, and Kaminga. How do you see the Warriors' future in such a dynamic landscape? And what do you think the team should prioritize? Building a lasting legacy or seeking an immediate title? We are eager to hear what you have to say. As a Warriors fan, I can't help but feel torn about what lies ahead. Clay Thompson's legacy and his ability to influence big games is something we all cherish immensely. His clutch shooting ability and tenacity on the court make him a pillar of our franchise. Personally, I hope he continues to be a fundamental part of the team, even considering the speculations about his future. The connection he has with the fans and the impact he has already made on the game are undeniable. On the other hand, Gary Payton 2's situation makes me reflect on what is necessary to build a championship team. His fierce defense and the energy he brings to the game are indispensable, but concerns about his health cannot be overlooked. As a fan, I question, is taking the risk of letting him go a smart move? His absence could affect the team's defensive identity, and that's something we need to seriously consider. And Jonathan Kaminga's case is an intriguing matter. I truly believe he possesses immense potential and can become a star. His ability to adapt and evolve throughout last season was impressive. The thought that he could be a target for the Clippers worries me. It would be a big mistake to let him slip away, especially at a time when we're seeing so many young talent shine in the league. The uncertainty regarding his contract extension makes me question the team's long-term vision. Should we prioritize building a solid future or focus on immediate achievements? If I had to choose, I would opt to invest in Kaminga and ensure that he continues to grow with us. The chemistry he can develop with other young players and established stars like Steph Curry and Draymond Green could shape the future of the franchise. I don't want to see the Warriors lose a talent like him simply due to a hasty decision. Looking ahead, I'm excited yet cautious. Every move in the trade market can change the trajectory of the team. What worries me most is the balance between keeping the experience of players like Clay and Peyton and making room for the new generation like Kaminga to develop. Success is not just about the present. It's also about building a lasting legacy. I look forward to seeing how the Warriors navigate this dynamic landscape. What do you think, fans? How should we approach these issues? Let's chat and see how we can unite in support of our team.